Hello there, friends. God bless you. God bless you. What a mighty God we serve. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I am broadcasting live today from the KGEB TV studio at O. Roberts University. What an incredible honor. Just next door, literally steps away, is the Maybe Center, uh, which is the basketball court of the O. Roberts University uh, team. And uh, I just came back from the chapel service, literally 15, 20 minutes of worship. Oh, the atmosphere was so glorious, so heavenly, so beautiful. Uh, but I have the great honor, privilege today to broadcast this prophetic word uh, from the KGEB uh, TV studio at O. Roberts University. So comment below where you are watching from, friends. I'm here from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've had a phenomenal, fantastic uh, three days. I'm telling you, power-packed, super blessed, overflowing three days here at Tulsa, and even tonight and tomorrow, I will be in Oklahoma City. So comment below where you are watching from. Praise God. I want to give you some shout-outs. Amen. So comment below. Give us some hearts and likes and let us know where you're watching from. My goodness, who is ready for the month of February? Amen. Who's ready for the month of February? Wow. This is going to be a month of great, great blessings. Who's excited? I feel uh, ex the excitement of the angelic. I feel uh, the energizo of the Holy Ghost. And uh, let me tell you, friends, the Lord said we will close out. January, we will close out this year with miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm telling you, friends, uh, how you end this month, it will determine, it will transition you into February. So this month, uh, January, of course, we're pretty much done, and now I'm prophesying into February, but February is going to be a, a month of great fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. Comment below where you're watching from. Amen. Melissa says, you need your own studio. I know I do. That's what we're working on, friends. Cape Town, South Africa, downtown Los Angeles, Mumbai, India. God bless South Africa. Mesa, Landry, good to see you, friends. You know, I'm going to be uh, at House Fires in the month of March. Spring, Texas, better than winter, Texas. Uh, hello there, Dana. Hello, Carolyn. Springfield, Missouri, Sue Sanchez. Juan Martinez, God bless you. Thanks for being a subscriber. Rabba Basata, Prosperity More, God bless you. Hello there, Hele, God bless you from Denmark. Laura, Latanya. And of course, now on, we are streaming both on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So let me say hello to our YouTube family. Hello there, Jurgen Meyer on YouTube. Madeline Blais. Mimi Schwar for Warrior for Christ, CHR from Canada, Victoria Lazarus from KL, Malaysia. I'm going to be in Malaysia in the month of August. Praise God. Zabarabalotata, Zabakara, over the horizon from Mississippi. Hello there, Michelle. The Empowered Life from Tempe, Arizona. Sheila, I believe, from Oklahoma. Hey, I'm right down the street from you. I'm in your state. Hello, the child of the Most High. Praise God. I know, I, friends, I'm overflowing. I mean, I've had such a phenomenal three days here in Tulsa. Many great connections. Open doors. I want you to comment open doors. And uh, just, wow. Um, yesterday, I spoke at a panel for Gloco. And I spoke on a panel at ORU uh, because they're hosting the first ever Christian Web3 conference. And I spoke on a panel with other uh, gentlemen, men of God, and we're talking about how Christians need to be in the Web3 space. And then I connected with a gentleman on the right side. He is the executive assistant to the, to the CTO here at Old Roberts University. And uh, he said, Pastor Ben, I would love to have you at our studio, KG. KJEBT, and uh, eventually have you on the broadcast next time you come. I would love to interview you, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, well, sir, um, and he invited me to chapel. So I just went to chapel. Beautiful, powerful worship for 15, 20 minutes, and here I am. But I said, well, you know, I'm doing a broadcast. And he said, well, after chapel, you could use our studio. So here I am in the studio, beautiful set. I'm here all alone. Someone say favor, because God is opening doors for you. 
then no man can shut. And of course, this is the historic glory campus of Dr. O. Roberts, one of the greatest healing evangelists, evangelists of our century that has impacted the world. Amen. But I'm excited to get into this word for February. Continue to share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Let us know where you are watching from. Hallelujah. And like I said, tonight and tomorrow, I will be ministering in Oklahoma City area. So I'd love to see you. I know D.C., I'm finally going to meet you. I believe I've seen you before, but praise God. Arabosa. And who here knows that February is... Probably one of the best months throughout the year because it's my birthday month. Amen. Um, and February is really a month of love, which I'm going to get more into in a little bit. But I've got much to share with you today. Amen. Hello there, Crystal, Pretty Williams, Terry Ann, DC, Providence Alana, Andre, Providence Ivana, Pastor Sharon, Latanya, Laura, Rababa. Francis Smith, Lashira, good to see you. Miriam, Elise, Amy, Terry Ann, Sophia, glory to God. Fiji in the house, praise God. I'm going to be in Fiji in the month of July. So glory to God. Lisa Medina says my birthday month as well. Oh, Lashira says my birthday month as well. Amen. Glory, glory. Hello there, Vicky. God bless you. My goodness. Well, like I said, tonight I will be ministering in Oklahoma City and tomorrow night. And next weekend I will be in New Mexico in Albuquerque and in Gallup. So catch me outside. Come on, where's our South Africa family today? Watching from Belize. Wonderful. Hello there, Glenford. Belize. I went to Belize last year for a vacation. Maria Letaon from South Africa. Nicolette says, happy pre-birthday. Thank you. Sheila, hello there. Mike Monroe Chanel from Canada. We've got a few Canadians in the house, especially over on YouTube. Zabara Bosata, watching from Malaysia. Shanice Khan. Jean Victory says, my birthday is in February too. Amen. Well, friends, praise God. I want to go right into this word. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Like I said, I'm broadcasting, airing live from the KGEBT TV studio at Oral Roberts University. What a great honor. Um, wow, so, the glory realm is so strong and uh, the Lord is so good. And pray that we'll be able to have a dynamic, incredible studio set like this. It's coming. Someone say it's coming. Well, friends, I want to go into the prophetic word of the month that the Lord has given me. This is going to be an incredible month. Amen. And I believe in this month of February, this truly is a month of love. Someone say love. This truly is a month of love. Not only because of Valentine's Day. And of course, there is the whole story of St. Valentine's who was a real saint. Uh, but in this month, many ministers of the gospel have gone home this month. All right, this month of February, and I do believe because it's the month of love in February, but in this month, Catherine Coleman went home to be with the Lord Billy Graham and Reinhard Bonnke. Even three of the Kansas City prophets, John Paul Jackson, Bob Jones, and also Paul Kane. So this is an unusual month where many ministers, evangelists, and even Dr. Young Gi Cho, excuse me, even Dr. Young Gi Cho from Korea. But this is a month where many ministers have been taken home to the Lord. Why is that? Because February, which is a month of love, and love is transitionary. And it's through love that you get caught up in the heavens like Enoch. So this is a month where you're going to be stepping into your promise. You're going to be stepping into some promises being fulfilled. If you're with me today, say amen. Now continue to share this on your wall. Because today, I am going to begin to prophesy about what you can expect for this month of February. And if you're with me today, say amen and say hallelujah. Now, first and foremost, we are now in the Hebrew month called Shabbat. Someone say Shabbat. S-H-E-V-A-T. We are now in the Hebrew month of Shabbat. 
And in this month of Shabbat, there's two important things in the Hebrew month of Shabbat, okay? Uh, number one, in this Hebrew month of Shabbat, this is a month where the water flows from the wells. Where the water flows from the wells. So this is a month of outpouring. Who here just finished 21 days of consecration? Amen. And if you're a part of our ministry and following uh, our family movement, then you've probably uh, started off this year strong with 21 days of consecration. But now that we finished the consecration, we're going to begin to feel the effects, the afterglow and the overflow of that pressing in with God. Amen. So this is a month where there is the height of the reigns of God. It's about the last season of winter, but this is a time where the water will flow from the wells. Someone say, spring up, O wells. And how great and incredible it is that I am in Tulsa. They call it Tulsa Rulim for Jerusalem. Uh, but this is a well of revival. It's in the heartland of America and Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is a major well of healing, revival, and the gospel being preached. So in this month of February, or Shavat, this is the Hebrew month where the wells begin to explode. So get ready. I'm talking to you for a springing up of the wells. Get ready for the springing up of the wells that have been dug, the wells that have been plugged for the wells of healing, the wells of finances, the wells of creativity, the wells of revival. This is a month where the wells are going to begin to spring up like never before. Wells, hear me now, wells in the land, wells in the heavens, and number three, wells from your belly. And then who here knows that in Genesis 6, in the flood, the Bible says that the heavens also opened up and the billows of the earth also opened up. So it was a twin anointing, a double-double anointing from the heavens and the earth. It rained and it exploded and sprang up. So in this month of Shabbat, there's going to be a dual double-double anointing of an outpouring of finances, an outpouring of miracles, an outpouring of the glory of God. If you receive it, say amen. So in Shabbat, there's two main things in the Hebrew month that happens. Of course, it's the, uh, it's the month of the waters flowing from the wells. And then number two, the second significance of Shabbat is that this is the new year for trees. Some say trees. Now, I know that's going to sound a little funny, but stay with me. Shabbat is the month where the scholars say it's the new year for trees. Do you know what that means? There's a new springing up. There's a new blooming, a new blossoming. You are beginning to glow again. Hibernation is coming to an end. So it's the new year of trees. Now today I want to talk about trees of life because the Lord wants you to become a tree of life. The Lord wants you to become somebody who manifests great fruits, abundance, harvest, to feed and to bless the nations. So this is a month of trees of life manifesting all across the earth. If you believe it and receive it, I want you to say amen. Now, friends on Facebook, help us to break the 100 mark today. Amen. Because Shabbat, February, is a month of the new year of trees. So our key verse that we're going to go to today is Deuteronomy chapter 8, 7 to 8. Deuteronomy 7, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7 to 8. That's the key verse. And let me read it out to you. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, Flowing out, someone say out, in the valleys and hills. Now hear me now. A land of wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olive trees, and honey. I'm going to repeat that again. A land, someone say a land of wheat, barley, 
grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and honey. That's Deuteronomy chapter 8, 7 to 8. Now, the Jewish scholars say that this is the season of the seven blessings, or otherwise known as the seven fruits or the seven kinds. This month, Shabbat, February, this is the time where the seven fruits, the seven kinds begin to manifest. And look at that. The TV behind me just switched automatically, talking about millionaires. So, amen. I received that. Glory to God. Even as I'm talking about the seven kinds and the seven fruits, boom, the TV screen switches to the millionaire. So God is releasing the seven kinds. God is releasing the seven species, the seven fruits. In this month of Shabbat, in the month of February, the Lord is bearing these seven fruits. So the Jewish scholars believe in this month, yes, this month of February, these seven fruits, these fruit trees begin to manifest. Someone say hallelujah. And of course, seven in Hebrew stands for perfection. So this is a month of completion and perfection. And this is the month where seven different blessings are going to overtake you. Someone say amen. Seven different blessings. Now, you could do a lot of study on the meaning or the prophetic meaning of each type of fruit. I want to go, I want to just go a little bit into this. But the seven types, the seven meanings of these seven blessings, the wheat, amen, which stands for bread or the word of God, the barley, which stands for substance, grapes, which stands for wine, figs, which stands for health, pomegranates, which has all the little seeds. It stands for fruitfulness and multiplication, olives stand for healing and the anointing and of course honey stands for the sweet word of god if you receive it someone say amen and thank you everybody for breaking 100 mark today and of course we are live on youtube right now as well amen but this is a season where god is releasing these seven blessings over your life in this month of february in this month of shabbat someone say shabbat so the Jewish scholars believe in this month, it is where these seven fruit trees begin to manifest. It's a new year. It's a new season. It's a new month. It's a time for you to bloom, blossom, and manifest the perfect blessings of God. If you receive it, someone say amen. Now, this is very unusual because even though it's the new year for trees in this month, what does that mean? That means the old trees are going home. That means the old trees are being cut. Now, I know some of us don't like to cut. We don't like the discipline. But the Bible says that the father chastises and disciplines those that he loves. If you do not receive discipline, then you may be an orphan or a bastard. But you see... God is breaking the bastardized orphan spirit, and the Lord is releasing adoption. So this is a month where God is raising and bearing up new trees, but also the old trees are getting cut. Some would say cut. Now, February comes from the Latin root word called februarium. I want to say februarium. Now, februarium in the Latin, in the original word, it means purity or purification. Isn't that incredible? Februarium in the Latin root word, it means purification. So this is a month of outpouring, and it's also a month of purification. Once again, Deuteronomy 8, 7 to 8, which is our key verse for this month. The Lord your God is bringing you, yes, you. Rachel Richardson, Dolores Rivera, Luis, Munoz, Manoa, Pastor Sharon. He is bringing you into a land. 
a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, flowing out in the valleys and hills, a land of seven different blessings. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. A land of wheat and barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, and honey. Someone say amen. So this is the month of new trees. And even as I said in the beginning, trees of righteousness, trees of life. Did you know that your body is also like a tree? If you look at the brain organ, what does it look like the brain is made up of, of trees? Even our, our hearts or different organs, livers, it looks like there's trees growing out. The Lord wants the trees of your body to experience the fullness of Jesus Christ. Here in Isaiah 61 verse 3, the Bible says, I will give to those, I will grant to those who mourn in Zion. I will give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit. My goodness, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. I want to prophesy God will be glorified from your life. Jesus will be glorified from your ministry. The Holy Spirit will be glorified from your life. If you believe it, say amen. So this is a month where God is receiving glory from the fruit, from the life, from the virtue, from the blessing, from the presence, from you being present. This is the month where God is receiving glory from your life. If you believe it, say amen. Now, Isaiah 61 verse 3. You will be called oaks of righteousness. Amen. Oaks of righteousness. You will be called a tree. And not just any tree, but specifically the oak tree. Now, I love the East Coast because there's a lot of oak trees in the 13 colonies in the East Coast. But oaks of righteousness, for oaks are a type of wood that are very malleable and very flexible and very strong and sturdy. Very good for building boats and homes and houses. So the Lord says, you will be an oak of righteousness. Though you sway with the winds, you are going to be one with the winds and the righteousness of Christ is going to manifest out of you and you are the planting of the Lord. Now, this is the other verse I want to highlight today. Proverbs 13, verse 12. Someone say amen. Proverbs 13, verse 12. I love this passage. Here the word of God says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when desires are fulfilled, it is a tree of life. When desires are fulfilled, it's a tree of life. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desires fulfilled is a tree of life. This is the month, February, Shabbat. This is the month where your desires are about to be met. You shall lack no good thing. You shall not want this is the month where you will manifest trees of life everywhere in Jesus' name. I declare trees of life all across the United States, all across South Africa, Canada, Botswana, Kenya, Korea, Philippines. I declare trees of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, why is a tree of life so important? Well, number one, because everything is about life. Absolutely. But number two, what was in the garden? There were two types of trees in the garden that were forbidden. It was the tree of life, and the second was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And of course, God said, do not eat of the tree of knowledge. Do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And of course, Adam and Eve reached for that apple, okay? Some say it's an apple. I'm just kidding. Actually, most people believe that it's probably a fig. 
because Jesus cursed a fig tree, right? And they covered themselves in fig leaves afterwards. However, there is no full conclusion. But I believe it was a fig. Anyways, as Adam and Eve reached for the fruit and they took a bite out of it, then they fell into sin because the knowledge of good and evil came upon them. However, there was also another tree called the tree of life. And Jesus is the tree of life. Yeshua hanging on that cross, that is the tree of life. Turn to Jesus so that you can experience the abundant life. John 10, 10. Whoever calls upon me, you shall experience the abundant life. For the enemy, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Son of Man has come to give you the fullness, the abundance of life. Some would say abundance. So in this season of February, God is saying get ready for your desires to be fulfilled. Now, friends, some people think that as Christians and believers, we need to be so super spiritual that we cannot have desires. Did you know that Jesus desired? In the Gospel of John 17, the Bible says, Father, I desire that they would be with me as I am with you. Jesus had desires. And you may say, well, Pastor Ben, that was for something holy. That wasn't for a new car or a new house or, or a new job or new opportunity. Listen, God cares. The Lord wants the best for you. And the desires of your heart, which is not your old heart, but now it's your new heart in Jesus Christ. Because he took away your old heart of stone and he gave you his heart, a new heart. So now your heart, the desires in it is from God, is of God, is meant to glorify God. If you're with me today, say amen. So God says, I don't want you to be sick because hope deferred makes the heart sick. Once again, Proverbs 13, 12, hope deferred makes the heart sick. I know many of you, you have felt heavy and discouraged in your heart. Your heart has become faint. Your heart has become sick, depressed, saddened, sorrowful because you did not see the promises fulfilled yet. But God is saying in this month of February, in this month of Shabbat, the new year of trees, I'm bringing you into a good land to manifest seven different blessings. And in this month, you shall become a tree of life. Get ready for a heart's desires to be fulfilled. God's about to open up door for you. God's going to connect you with the right people. He's already heard you in a secret place. He's already seen your tears. God has prepared and set up many blessings, breakthroughs, and open doors for your life. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has fathomed. The Lord is about to fulfill, satisfy your heart. Now, I know around Valentine's Day and maybe your birthday and maybe around Christmas time. Look, I got two of these Christmas. Many of you, you could feel lonely. God, nobody loves me. God, I'm still single and I do not want to mingle. And many of you might say, God, where's my spouse? Where's my husband? Where's my wifey? Where's my lover? I'm so alone. Look at all these people pick, uh, posting on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada. Let me tell you, God is about to fulfill the desires of your heart. He is about to satisfy your whole entire being in the mighty name of Jesus. He is not slow in keeping his promises. He knows how to get to you his breakthrough and his blessings. The Lord is about to cause every area of sickness to become a tree of life. I declare right now, trees of life, trees of life, 
in the name of Jesus. So in the month of February, in the month of February, purification, in the month of Shabbat, which is the upspringing of waters of wells and is the month of the new year of trees, expect your heart to be overflowing with gratitude and with the glory of God. If you receive it, say amen. Now, did you know that we as human beings, we are also like trees? You are also like a tree. That's why in the book of Song of Solomon, which is a very poetic, allegoric uh, book in the Bible, but it talks about a man being like a tree where the birds can come, where the animals can come and have shade. That's protection. That's covering. That's enjoying the authority of a man and woman of God. So we as human beings, we can be like trees. We even see in the story of Nebuchadnezzar uh, in the book of Daniel, where he became like a tree or the kingdom became like a tree. I declare right now, your branches are branching out. You are branching out on every side, strong, sturdy branches for animals to rest on, for birds to make nests, strong, sturdy branches. You're expanding in the mighty name of Jesus. So we as human beings, we can also be like trees. And we see it in the verse of John 15, Yeshua says, I'm the vine and you're the branches. Whoever abides in me will bear much fruit. Someone say amen. So in this month of February, in this month of love, Shabbat, the new year of trees, I prophesy and I declare trees of life and heart desires being fulfilled. If you receive it, someone say amen. So I want to give you three prophetic points. If you're enjoying this broadcast and if you are connecting by faith, I want you to say hallelujah. Make sure you give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. We have a good amount, 76 on YouTube, 113 on Facebook. God bless you. The Lord is about to increase your influence, expand your influence, your reach. The branches are about to reach out. But in this month, I prophesy three things. Number one. There is a deepening of your roots, a deepening of the roots of love, the roots of purity, and the roots of the prophetic this month. In this month, the Lord is taking you deeper. Somebody say, Jesus, take me deeper. Your roots are about to go deeper. What happens when your roots are shallow? Then you are going to topple over like the Tower of Pisa. Yes, I love Pisa. I love Pisa. Do you love pizza? But you are going to topple over and the Lord wants your roots to go deep. I love some of the trees uh, like the evergreens in California. These evergreens, I believe it's the evergreens, but the roots of the trees they begin to tie together underneath in the dirt. Imagine that. The roots go down and the roots begin to tie and tangle together in unity so that there is a strength in prayer underneath in the valley, in the darkness. There's a unity down below where nobody else sees. The Lord wants to deepen your roots. He wants to deepen your love deepen the roots of purity and of the prophetic and of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, I'm going deeper. The Lord is taking you deeper in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So number one, the first prophetic point for this month of February and Shabbat, God is taking you deeper. Your roots are about to go deeper because he wants you to go so deep, hear me now, that because the deeper you go, the richer is the soil. I'm going to repeat that again. The deeper you go, 
the richer is your soil. Or how about this? The deeper you go, you will tap into a water reservoir that's hidden underneath. You are about to tap into a gold mine. You are about to tap into a water resource, a water reservoir. Some would say deep. God's going to take you deeper this month. Deep calls out into deep. The spirit of God is bringing you into a good land to bear seven trees of fruits. And you're going to go deeper than ever before. Some would say amen. Number two, the second prophetic point I want to declare over you this month of February. Number two, ha, huh, there is going to be an uprooting. Someone say uproot. I saw the Lord uproot ungodly trees. Jesus says in the middle of the night, the thief comes and sows tears amongst the wheat so the enemy sows counterfeit amongst the wheat <clears throat> so i saw the lord uprooting false trees ungodly trees the lord is going to uproot ungodly trees things you do not want in your heart things you do not want in your life god is uprooting the evil soul ties. He's uprooting the demonic connections. God is uprooting the things that make your heart sick. Some would say uproot. So in this month of February, number one, the Lord is causing you to go deep. But guess what? He's also going to uproot. Some things do not need to be there anymore. Those false lovers, those false idols, those distractions, they do not need to remain there anymore. The Father is uprooting in the mighty name of Jesus. He's setting you free. He's delivering you. He is going to deliver you from the fowler snare. Someone say amen. He is uprooting in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that you could not do, the things that were difficult for you to do, impossible for you to do, Jesus is uprooting. And in the story, Jesus said, the enemy comes to sow tares amongst the wheat. Hear me now. But if you pluck it out too quickly, you will also lose the wheat. Therefore, wait for the right time until both grow at full maturity and then you separate so it does not damage the wheat. The Lord is going to uproot this month. Finally, the Judases are being exposed. Finally, the Jezebel is being uprooted. Finally, there is a release. You have the green light to fire, to let go of those people, to close the door on those people. Finally, this is the month of finality and the love of God, which in February, Februarium in Latin means to purify. As he purifies you in love, God is saying, I'm going to remove anything that's getting in the way of love and I'm going to remove it and I'm going to deepen your roots into purity and holiness in the name of Jesus. Someone say uproot. That's why I believe many men and women of God have gone home to be with the Lord this month in February. And remember, uprooting doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It means it's a necessary thing for growth. Who am I talking to? You don't need to be a bad tree to be uprooted. That tree is just done. And it's necessary to make room for the next. Someone say, I'm making room. And a third prophetic point I want to prophesy over you. The third prophetic point. In this month of February, Shabbat, this month of love, trees of life, 
the third thing you can expect God to do with you is to bear much fruit. Bear much fruit. Number one, he is deepening your roots. Number two, he is uprooting the old and the dead. And number three, he is causing you to bear much fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. There's going to be a fruit bearing anointing. Somebody say, I am fruity. There's a fruit bearing anointing that's coming forth in this month of February of Shabbat. There are trees of life. The seven blessings of God are going to chase you down. Seven kinds, seven species, seven fruits of God are going to overtake you in the name of Jesus. Get ready for this month of love where the prophetic, where the fire, the power of God's love, the Father heart of God is going to overtake you and overwhelm you like never before. If you believe it and receive it i want you to shout hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes in jesus name this is a prophetic month this is a month of love and this is a month of trees of life hallelujah so i declare there's an uprooting in the church this month there's an uprooting of certain people in the public specter, uh, specter this month, sphere this month, this month of February, there's going to be an uprooting. Watch, says the Lord, for there will be people going home to be with the Lord in the month of February. Even in the church, there will be an uprooting. My goodness, purify my heart. Let me be as gold and precious silver. Purify my heart and let me be as gold, as pure gold. Refiner's fire, my heart's one desire is to be holy. Look at that, my singing voice is nearly back. My singing voice has been shot for about a month. Uh, glory be to God for in this month of February, the month of the prophetic and the month of love. Get ready for the outpouring and the overflow of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord some praise in this place. Friends, I want to pray with you today. If you are blessed, by this broadcast, I want you to give us a share. Share the link, share the broadcast with a friend, amen. Give us a heart and a like and a follow, amen. And I see you on YouTube, praise God. And I see you here on Facebook. But friends, this is a month where the Enochs are gonna arise. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God and then he no longer was. I declare February as the month of Enoch. This will be a month where those who so love God are suddenly caught up and taken up in the glory realm in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. Friends, I want to pray for you. I see you, Kashika. I see you, Michelle, Debbie Hawkins, Dana Sandage. Marilyn, Latanya, hallelujah, I see you. I want to pray for you and prophesy over you in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for all of our friends that are watching. And I thank you, Lord, that you are releasing the love anointing. You are releasing the grace and the glory for love. And I thank you for trees of life that this month, there's going to be heart desires fulfilled. You are going to fulfill the desires of their hearts. Father, I thank you for grace. I thank you for love. And I thank you for an outpouring and an abundance of the prophetic flow of God's heart. I prophesy now the prophetic is being purified. Your life is being purified. 
Your ministry is being purified. There is a refining, purifying fire that's coming upon you in the name of Jesus. If you receive it, shout hallelujah and say amen. Friends, this month of February is going to be an incredible month. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Now, friends of God, I want you to stay with me because I want to make some announcements quickly. Like I said, tonight, I'm going to be in Oklahoma City. Tonight and tomorrow, I am ministering in Oklahoma City. So if you are around this area, come and see me and be with me. I would love to see you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. What God's been doing here in Tulsa and in Oklahoma has been mind-blowing. I'm so blown away and so grateful for what God is doing and what the Lord has done in these last few days. And now I'm going to Oklahoma City, and we are going to have such a beautiful, powerful time in the Lord. Amen. Now, also, second announcement. Next week, I will be in Albuquerque and Gallup, New Mexico. Myself and Prophet Charlie Shamp and Steve Swanson. I would love to see you. We can just put up the, the Gallup one, Mr. Loris. I would love to see you in Albuquerque and in Gallup. Make sure you go to my website, benlimglobal.com, for all of our events. Amen. Because we have so much every week, literally. This is my third virtual event this week. But on top of that, of course, I'm traveling every week, ministering the grace and the gospel of Jesus Christ. So next week, we'll be in Albuquerque and in Gallup, myself, Prophet Charlie Shamp, and Steve Swanson, worship leader extraordinaire. So come and see us, drive in, fly in, crawl in, do whatever you need to do to be there. Amen. Now... I am going to be back in Grand Junction, Colorado in the month of February. I would love to see you if you're in the Colorado area. Grand Junction, Colorado. Amen. And we have three days of glory there in Grand Junction, Colorado. What God's been doing in Colorado is incredible. Truly, God is moving all across the earth and the Lord is moving in this place. So I would love to see you. Glory Hub meetings in Colorado, Grand Junction. Amen. Also, I want to invite you to Hawaii. Okay, myself and Dr. Roberts Lairdon, the author of God's Generals. He himself is also a general. But we are doing a three-day intensive training and equipping uh, in the glory realm, myself and Dr. Robert Slaredon in Oahu, Hawaii. So I would love to see you. You could register online or you could be there in person in Oahu, Hawaii. But myself and Dr. Robert Slaredon, three days intensive in the glory. Amen. And uh, I'm telling you, Hawaii is so beautiful. Hawaii is gorgeous. And of course, in Hawaii, Wow. I mean, myself and Dr. Robert Slaredon, how incredible would it be for you to be there? We'd love to see you there. It's going to be three-day intensive seminar conference, morning, afternoon, and evening in the glory of God in Oahu, Hawaii. So make sure you register. You can even register and be a part of the online broadcast, private and exclusive. Amen. Now, I forgot to mention this, my apologies, but our next webinar is going to be February 13th, and I'm going to talk about unlocking prophetic mysteries. Now, all of our Zoom webinars are free, and I'm going to talk about unlocking prophetic mysteries. Once again, February is a month of love and the prophetic, but in the month of February, I'm going to talk about unlocking prophetic mysteries so all of our zoom webinars are for free we would love to see you we'd love you to join us amen i'm going to talk about the prophetic i'm going to talk about the realm of mystery and revelation 
and how to unlock prophetic mysteries in your life. So go ahead and join us. All of our Zoom webinars are free. We would love to see you. And last but not least, my friends, we have uh, an online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip, where at least two times a month, we have a private Zoom, and you also get to be a part of a Telegram group. I'm telling you, everybody a part of the 7M Glory Equipped is online group mentorship. They are world changers. We'd love to have you, and we would love to see you. So if you want to be mentored by me and to walk in a wonderful, powerful group community, do consider joining us. I believe in the power of mentorship and discipleship. Amen. So let's start off this year right and strong in Jesus' name. Now, friends, if you enjoyed this broadcast, make sure you share. Give us some hearts and likes. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Now, as we close, lift up your hands as I close the prayer. Lord, I thank you. Bless your people today. I ask you, let your fire and your power come upon them. Let your word be true. And I declare February will be a month of deepening your roots, uprooting the old, and bearing great new fruits. Friends, is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here, broadcasting live from the KGEBT studio here in Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I love you, bless you, may the Lord prosper you, and get ready for seven types of fruits in this month. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Shalom.